What's going on guys? We are back on Pokemon Showdown today for a live in the UU tier. Bringing a team this time built around regular Hoopa that I made. Very offensive, very fast paced team as you can probably tell by the build that I have here. Uh, Custap Fortress is what I'm going to be uh, leading off with most times. Getting up as much hazards as I possibly can. Rocks and spikes both. Hoopa, of course, is a spin blocker. Good Pokemon. This is Psychic and Ghost type. I figured, you know, since they're suspecting Hoopa Unbound and OU, I'll play around with the uh, regular Hoopa and UU. And, I mean, it's also another viable Pokemon in OU, but, um, I mean, it's, it's usable in UU, so I figured I'd just use it here. And uh, I haven't done UU in a little while, so figured why not. So we have Hoopa. It's actually a Trick Room Hoopa. I figured, you know, the, the team isn't really built as a Trick Room team, but late game, you know, Hoopa can come out, Trick Room, can potentially help Swampert because Swampert's a pretty slow Pokemon in general, especially before it Megas. And uh, I mean, I'm running a Scarf Zapdos just for late game cleaning, which is nice. Zapdos actually now has Static, which it can only use if you're not using Defog on the same set. So I'm running Scarf Zapdos here with Static. That also means, you know, for Moltres, it gets Flame Body. Articuno, I don't even remember what it gets. I'll check that out later, but, um, you know, it's a really, uh, really fast Pokemon. Very nice power. Vol Switch for the momentum, which is great. And uh, we also have here a Nidoking. Nidoking is a nice Sheer Force attacker, works well with the team, especially when hazards are up, you can just start spamming uh, Life Orb Sheer Force moves. And finally, well, not finally, but we have also a Whimsicott. Whimsicott, basically, you know, a nice Dragon check, also to Encore slash Memento, giving us a chance to potentially set up a Trick Room or Rain Dance with our Swampert here. And finally, as you can see, we have Swampert, which is basically just my Rain Sweeper. I just set up Rain Dance, you know, if we have hazards up, that's great. We can just click move after move, just kill Pokemon and uh, cop double uses. That's what we do out here. So anyways, let's, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and find a battle and I'll just pause till we get one. Pretty high on the ladder, pretty decently uh, decently placed here. So we'll see how this team works out. We'll get some quick battles and uh, let's just go ahead and hop right into this. So I'll pause. So I'll be right back. Okay, we got one here versus a very, very cool team. Sort of looking uh, nice. Firewater Grass Core, Don Fan, Heracross. Very, uh, I guess, old school kind of looking team. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna get up here with my fortress. He ends up with his roserade, perfectly fine. Let's get up these rocks, and uh, just has sleep powder here. It's perfectly fine. Cause I'm gonna wake up anyways. Doesn't matter. No problem. All oh, rapid spin first. Ah, uh, he's packing the Arcanine here, so um. I'll let him kill me, it's fine. He's probably just gonna overpredict and wisp anyways. Yeah, <laughs> we're just overpredicting close combat there. Nice. <laughs> Not bad. Uh is he like locked in? I don't know, I don't see no, I don't see an item. He's Rocky Helmet. He's Rocky Helmet. Okay. He's Rocky Helmet confirmed. Which means that I should probably switch out here into, uh, into what? Swampert? Crits me there. Of course he crits. Come on. I'm an Earthquake here. Just Mega Earthquake right off the bat should be good. Should do a lot of damage to whatever he brings in. He brings in the Rose right here. This should take a lot. See how much this does. It uh, completely Okos it. Nice. I am Adam and Swampert after all. Goes into Vaporeon here, so I'm just going to pull the switch off into my Whimsicott. Pretty safe switch here. Should he decide uh, to try anything, I guess. Goes to the Toxic. Misses. Very nice. Um, I'm actually just going to go Fortress here. He's probably going to do it again. Or I could, um... Let's see. I mean, Fortress is fine. I don't see a reason not to. Goes Arcanine. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll sack this thing here. I don't really need it anymore. We got rocks up. That's good. I'll just click Explosion. It's probably packing Morning Sun as well. Maybe. Um, and now what I can do is actually just go into my Nidoking. Nidoking is so nice in this tier. Just because it can pretty much hit everything. I'm just going to go right for the Sludge Wave here. Sludge Wave is a pretty nice uh, pretty nice move here. Only switching and being Donphan. And uh, I guess also Aerodactyl. But it should, it still should be taking a lot. Just goes right for the E speed here, getting some uh, getting some damage off before he goes down. Not bad at all. So into the uh, 
To the Vaporeon he goes. Okay. Okay. Gonna go Whimsicott here. As he scalds. I'm just Encore this. Doesn't really have a safe switch in. And what I can do now is just click Giga Drain. Just uh, heal up as much as I can. Goes into Heracross here. Um, I'll just Moonblast this, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I mean, unless he's like Scarf Heracross, then it's not really going to do uh, do much to me. I mean, I guess, let's see. Okay, so he doubles into Arrow. That's still taking a lot, though, but okay. I'll go Zapdos here. I don't think he'll, or maybe he'll Stone Edge. Maybe he will. Maybe he will. Yeah, he just aerial aces. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm gonna click HP Ice just because of the fact that um, it kills Arrow from this range. It kills Don, or it doesn't kill Donphan, but it does damage to Donphan. He stays in, not expecting that I'm Scarf, so that's good. Can knock that out. Goes into his own Donphan here, which means I can just go into um, probably my Whimsicott here. I don't want to spin block. I mean, I could have, but Hoopa is pretty nice late game. I can trick him and just attack everything. I'm just going to go here for the uh, the Moonblast. That does so much. That's really good. I can just Giga Drain here. Giga Drain will definitely knock this thing out. He's uh, definitely not... Or he's definitely um like a defensive set, not Spadef. Ice Shard. Eat that up. And I mean now... Okay, yeah, he just forfeits there. So that's going to be a good game. Let's go ahead hop into another game. Another battle, I'll possibly get one, so be right back. Okay, so we're up against a very, uh, very offensive team this time. And could be threatening. Could be threatening indeed if he... I'm, I'm guessing that uh, Salamence is a defogger. I think. Or maybe he's had... Maybe he has a taunt lead in... Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Start a timer. Fortress is just an all-around good lead. Very good versus offense. He leads off with the immense here. It's good to know. Fire blast me turn one. I'll explode here. No problem. Nice. Bringing this all the way down as he roosts. Okay, so he did expect that, so that's good. Good for him. He's life orb, so... He's probably fast. And... I kind of want to go Zapdos here. I guess HP Ice is fine. That is a good chunk of damage right there. That is what I like to see. I don't know if I want to just stay in here, but I don't really have another switch in, so I'm just going to hit uh, Hidden Power again and just knock it out. Okay, so that was a low roll probably. That must have been a low roll. I am Modest Scarf, so get some more damage output as you can see there after Rocks it. Uh, 2 8 KO Nido Queen. Goes into his Heracross here, as what I can do is probably just go Whimsicott. I think it's fine. Yeah, Whimsicott here is probably my best play, as we see him go right for the knockoff. That is fine. I'm just going to click Moonblast, as literally he doesn't really have a Moonblast switch in anymore, now that he lost his Nidoqueen. And we can just uh, do a lot of good damage to that, as he facades here. Um... Did you put the wrong item <laughs> on you, or are you just expecting to get burned or something? Like, yeah, I have no idea. But I guess he just wanted damage on me anyways, and that was the only way that he could uh, get damage on me. Goes into arrow here, and I can pretty much... Uh, was his Ments Intimidate or not? Let me check. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, Yeah, it was Intimidate. Because I was thinking, like, if I just Memento here, I could probably go Swampert, Rain Dance, and win. Salamence is at 86%. Though I don't think his the rest of his team can really take much from uh, Swampert anyways, even if I am minus one. So I'm going to just Memento here. And uh, alternatively, I could go into Hoopa and Trick Room. I think that also pretty much wins the game now. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go to Hoopa here. Trick Room up. Get these. Uh, get this Trick Room going here. As he goes into his Ments. And I'm pretty sure a Shadow Ball knocks this thing out. Yeah, definitely a Shadow Ball will knock this out from this range. For sure. He's running Fire Blast, so I'm guessing he's Naive Nature. 
And crit did not even matter. Crit did not matter at all. Confirmed. Goes into Alakazam. So we're going to be trying to think outside the box here, I guess. I guess. Uh, yeah, I can Shadow Ball here. He's probably Focus Sash as he is Focus Sash. Knocks me out with the Shadow Ball. And what I can do now is just go into my... Um, Nidoking is fine. Three turns left to trick him. Yeah, Nidoking, or two turns left now. Nidoking is fine here. I can just go right for the um, the Ice Beam. If he decides to go Arrow, then it'll take some damage, I guess. If he goes Cobalion, that's also fine. And we are Scarf Zapdos once again, so Scarf Zapdos actually just cleans up in the end as well. So we're in a very good position right now. Hoopa actually, the Trick Room that Hoopa's providing is just really good to uh, mess around with your opponent. Goes into Cobalion here, I can just Earth Power now. I am still faster, so uh, that's good. Oh, he's got a Shucka Berry too. Doesn't matter at all. Does not matter. Iron Head Crit knocks me out. I can now just go into my... I could probably just finish this off with Zapdos. Yeah, I don't even I don't even have to go Swampert and Mega. I'll just go Zapdos. I'll click uh, I'll click T Bolt twice and just win this game. Yeah, and the last is Alakazam, which we are of course faster than, and we can knock this out with another T Bolt here. So that is going to be a good game, of course. And um, yeah, let's just go ahead and hop into the next battle, and I'll pause till we get one. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, we got one here versus a uh, Darmanitan Cress. What is this, like, <laughs> half Trick Room team? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I'm just going to lead off here with uh, probably the Fortress is a fine lead. Leading off with Dragalge here, which is perfectly fine, I think, because I can just set up my rocks. No problem at all. Knocks me down to Sturdy. I think I can probably explode here. I don't think I need that extra spike. Alternatively, I could get up that extra spike. And that might be nice, but... um. Let's get at the spike. Into Porygon Z he goes. I could just explode it on this on this thing. He, he just try attacks me perfectly fine. I can now go into my um, Hoopa is a pretty nice switch in here. I don't see a life orb, so I'm guessing he might be locked in. And I could Trick Room. I could Trick Room here, though. I don't know how Trick. I don't know how useful Trick Room is. I'm actually fast, sort of. Well, I'm not really that fast actually. Decently speeded. But, um, yeah, maybe I'll just Trick Room here. No, I don't even need to. You know what? I think we're fine. I think we're pretty fine. I can just go right for the Psy Shock here. As he goes in Polion, I'm faster than this, of course, so I can just go right for the Focus Blast. I think Trick Room probably would have ruined me there. Trick Room is mainly versus for faster teams. And, um, yeah, Hoopa just puts in, like, a lot of work. Depending on if your opponent's running a fast team or a slow team. Psy Shock is really good versus the uh, bulkier Pokemon that have more Spadef. Like Empoleon, for instance, Blissey. Stuff like those. Into Dragalge he goes. I mean, we're faster than this for sure. We could just Psy Shock and knock this thing out. And Hoopa just puts in. <laughs> Hoopa's putting in so much work right now as it is. That is really cool to see. Definitely always a very satisfying feeling when the Pokemon, you, I guess you kind of build this, the team around, puts in the work that you want to see. Goes into Darmanitan here. We can definitely 100% save Hoopa. I mean, he's probably just going to like Flare Blitz or something anyways. So I'm just going to go into Swampert here. Swampert's a pretty nice uh, switch. And he just goes for the U-turn. Okay, so this is like, this is looking, okay, he's Life Orb. He's Life Orb. I thought he was Bandit for a second because that did a lot of damage. Into Chestnut he goes. I'm not sure what set this is. Ah, uh, he's Leftovers. Okay, so he's not like a sub uh, Belly Drum set. That I always loved running. Let me go here into my Whimsicott. And, uh... I mean, because Hazards are up, you can't get rid of it. Really good. Very good. Um, I can just... Uh, yeah, just forfeits here. Nice. And we can just go ahead and find another battle. And I'll pause to we get one. Uh, be right back, guys. Alright, and we got one here versus a uh, pretty balanced-looking team. Maybe bulky offense, depending on what Snorlax that this is. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty decent team. I'm just gonna lead off here with my Fortress. I think it's fine. Alternatively, I could lead off with my Nido. I think I kind of want to do that just because Nido is pretty good versus this team. I mean, I do pack the superpower as well in order to, I guess, deal with threats like Snorlax slash Blissey and stuff like that. 
You can have a Zapdos here. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I think I'm just going to go right for the Sludge Wave here. Sludge Wave is a decent play as he goes into the Snorlax. And now I can actually just click Super Power on this. And uh, should be doing a good amount. I do see the leftovers though, which is interesting. So let's see what he wants to do. Uh, decides to go to Swampert here. Good play on his part. I'm just going to... Um, well, he has leftovers, so he's obviously Stealth Rocks. Gonna go Fortress here. As he sets up his rocks. Very nice. I can just Rapid Spin away. As he goes Alakazam. Interesting switch. Um, not really too sure why. Because I'm probably sure I can just set up my rocks. Ah, he's uh, Encore. Nice, nice. Okay. That's fine. I'm just going to, perhaps, if he's running Shadow Ball, I don't think I can go Hoopa. Probably go Whimsicott here, as he Psychics me. So he's definitely, uh, it's, look, it's looking like he's Life Orb Alakazam, actually. I'm going to go Fortress here, and I'm just going to um, set up my rocks, try to get up some hazards here. As he goes into his own fortress. Okay. Perfectly fine. I can set up my spikes here. Let's see if he wants to spin or not. Okay, he does. Um, as he volts with here. Okay, so I can keep my rocks up. That's nice. Goes into his Alakazam. I'm going to go actually... I'm going to actually go here into my Zapdos just because of the fact that he's probably going to Encore me. And never mind, he just Psychics. Perfectly fine. Um, going to Thunderbolt here so he's not going to expect it and no almost knock it out. Almost knock it out there. Um, he does pack Shadow Ball. This is kind of annoying. It's a little bit annoying. How do I win this? Um, if I go Swampert here, and if I Rain Dance up, what happens? Just goes right for the Psychic. And um, at this point, I think I can just click Waterfall here. Because uh, he doesn't have any water resist on his team. That's nice. It is very nice. Goes into a Snorlax here. This thing should go down in uh, one more hit. Very good. In comes the Fortress here. I could probably attack this as well. As he just rapid spins away. Perfectly fine. I'm going to um, Earthquake this. Actually, no, I'm just going to Waterfall again. No point not Waterfalling here. I actually want to get up another Rain Dance if I can. Might have to sack something here. Goes into a Zapdos here. Okay, so the Rain is gone. Rain is indeed gone. I don't know if he's packing HP Grass or not. Um, I could just... I don't know if... No, I'm not faster. I have to rain dance here. He subs. Okay. So is he sub-toxic? Let me go to Nidoking here. I don't want to get stalled out. He's got to be, like, toxic or something on that. Oh, he's just roost. I didn't really understand that, actually. He just roosts up here. Um, let's go for the Ice Beam again. And uh, Earth Power here now. Knock this out. Alakazam comes out here, and now what I can do is just... Um, I mean, he's obviously going to Psychic, so I can get into my Custap range. Is that Custap range? Yes, it is. Very good. And um, pretty sure I can just explode here and knock out Alakazam. Nice. Okay, this is good. This is fine. What we can do now is potentially try to trick room with Hoopa. But we gotta lure something out for that. So I think what I can do here is go Nidoking first, maybe. Or I could even go Hoopa here. Hoopa seems fine. Let's go Hoopa. Hoopa is fine here. I'm just going to actually go ahead and trick room might be the best play. Let's trick room up here. He megas, goes for the pursuit. And that just, that just completely destroys me. Okay. Uh, okay, that's that's fine. Let's go to Nido King here. I'm just gonna click um Swamp is at 88, that's pretty bad. I'll just click Ice Beam here. Wing attack does not knock me out. 
and um, goes into Swampert here. Gonna Earth Power away. Into my Swampert I go. I should be faster. So we can knock that out. Last is the uh, the Zapdos, which probably Ice Punch here. As yes, yeah, he does have Toxic, and we freeze it too. Nice. <laughs> he would have just Roost stalled us. That was horrible. Yeah, that's that's really that's really unfortunate, but it happens. I mean, it's happened to me. Probably happened to all you guys. Very unfortunate, but we were able to cop the W. As uh, we can now just go ahead and hop on to the next battle. And I'll just go ahead and find one. Possibly get one. So be right back. Okay, and we got another game here versus a very bulky offensive looking team. Okay, so I think our best approach here, just leading off with the Fortress, I don't see hazard control on this team, and that is uh, what I really like about it. So we can just lead off here with the Fortress, set up rocks, potentially set up spikes or boom on something. Spikes are looking nice. Depending on what he goes into though, I think uh, we'll definitely... Oh, he just goes right for the U-turn. Okay, this is fine. Because I don't think anything on his team... Well, Bar King can, can, uh, can Oko me right now. So, um... Let's see. What can we do here? We can just stay in, I think. Actually, you know what? I could go Whimsicott here and Encore into Earth Power. Or... Let's see here. Hmm. Because Whimsicott could be nice. Let me go Whimsicott here. I think he's probably just going to Earth Power me anyways. Ah, he Flamethrowers. Okay. Okay, okay. That's fine. I'll go to my Hoopa. And I will click Trick Room, I think. Alternatively, I could Psy Shock. Never mind. Goes Crest here. Okay. Okay, this could be fun. I don't think he can really do anything to my Hoopa. Yeah, I don't think he can. And if he T-Waves me, I mean, that's better for me. Moonblast does, uh, okay. We almost knock it out, that's good. Good to know, good to know. Yeah, Trick Room Hoopa is going to be putting in some decent work in this battle as well. If Trick Room lasted, like, more turns, that'd be so, uh, so nice. He just Moonlights here, so we can just knock him out. Probably would have been better if he just had tried to attack me or something. And now at this point, I think he's just going to go into, uh... Gyarados, maybe? I don't know. Ampharos. Okay. So it goes Ampharos here. I don't know if this thing has more uh, Spadef than defense. I think anyways, I could just Psy Shock here for damage. Pretty sure he'd have more... Uh... Yeah, let's just Psy Shock here. Let's just Psy Shock. I don't think he's... Uh... I think he's more Spadef. Oh, he's faster too. He's faster indeed. Um... So I could go Fortress here. I could save this thing. Don't know what I'm going to use it against, but I could probably go Fortress here as he Dragon Pulses me. And um, I'm faster now, I think. So I could get up a Spike. Yeah, I'm faster than this, I think, for sure. Yeah, there we go. Nice. He goes for the rest here. Perfectly fine. I can just explode on this thing. And he's got, like, no switches except Cobalion. And we're, yeah, he's back down. Very good, very good. Now I can go into my Nidoking here. I can click um, Sludge Wave, I think is fine. Expecting maybe Gyarados to come in. Or you could just sack off his Ampharos, and that'll be really cool too. Into Gyarados, okay, there we go. Nice, and we're faster than this thing too. So we can just go ahead and kill this thing with a uh, with another sludge wave. And knock it out. Awesome. Darmanitan kind of looking like a threat. We have Hoopa there for sacking purposes if we need to. Goes into Darmanitan. I'm just going to sack off Hoopa here. Did its work. Did a good job getting rid of Crest, which was a bulky wall that we didn't want to see. As well as um, weakening... Uh, I guess also sort of weakening Ampharos. Mainly the Crest, though. That's gone. That's really good. Literally paved a, a, paved a road for us to win this. He goes with the Flare Blitz. And um, at this point now, I think I can just go into my Swampert here. And just Rain Dance and win this game. I think it's fine. Yeah, I think we just win. If we just Rain Dance, we win. Goes into Ampharos uh, here. I'm just going to click uh, Earthquake. 
I mean, four earthquakes knock out his entire team. <laughs> so that's going to be, uh, that's going to be that. And he just forfeited there. Nice. And he, he knew that he lost that too. Let's go ahead and uh, find another game. And now we'll uh, pause until we get one. So be right back. Alright, and we got another game here versus some stall. Uh, it's it's okay. Um, it's not too bad. I can just lead off with Fortress here. I mean, we have some decent ways to beat stall, I guess. With uh, Well, <laughs> if I was like a nasty blood hoop, that would have probably destroyed it. But uh, he leads off here with the Suicune. Um, that's fine. I'm just going to set up my rocks here. No problem at all. Just goes right for the calm mind. All right, he's just going for it. He's just going for it. I'm fine with that. No burn, that's good. And uh, I'll explode here as he goes Gligar. Okay, good, nice. So we weaken this thing. That's great. I can go Nido King here. I can just click Ice Beam. And I mean, he has to switch into Blissey, I guess. He does. Okay, and I can Superpower here probably knock this thing out and uh, almost knock it out that's cra that's crazy that is absolutely crazy um let's see so I don't know what this thing has on it it could have status or something potentially I'm gonna go into uh, Hoopa here and click uh, and click Psy Shock. I think it's fine And knock out Gligar. Okay, this is good. This is good. Well, actually, Fortress is probably his spinner. But I do have this uh, Hoopa as a spin blocker, which is nice. And he just forfeits, realizing he couldn't win. Nice. That's how we beat Stall out here. Let's find another game. I'll pause so we get one. So one sec, guys. Alright, and we got one here versus a nice uh, nice Firewater Grass Core going on here. That's what I like to see. This man's rocking those uh, basic types. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and just lead out here with the uh, Fortress. I think it's fine. These are with the Zapdos. Not too worried about that at all. As he just Volt Switches here. Knocks me down to Sturdy, so that's great. I think. As we do see him go right into his Empoleon. I'm just going to explode on this thing. Don't want him to cause any trouble with Defog. As we do see him go right for it. I do see Leftovers here, so that's good. I can probably just go into my Nidoking. And knock it out with an Earth Power. Um, pretty sure it sh I'm pretty sure it can knock it out. Pretty sure it can. I don't know if he'd uh, switch right here. He could potentially, but... His Earth Power should be doing a lot. Decides to switch in immense. Okay. Um, that's that's fine, I think. I mean, my win condition for sure is uh, Swampert. Swampert looks like he can put in so much work to his team after I Rain Dance. Goes into Entei here. Okay, so he's making some plays. Making some plays there. I don't know if a Sacred Fire will knock me out. Uh, it does. So he's Choice Bandit probably. I'm going to go here into my Entei and click... Uh, sorry, my uh, Zapdos. And click... Probably Heat Wave is fine here. As he's probably going to switch out. I'll turn, yeah, I think yeah, I think Heat Wave is fine. He goes Mammoth Swine here. This should be doing a decent chunk. As it does... Uh, yeah, 52. Okay, that's good. That is good. For sure. Knocking out Mammoth Swine is very, uh, very nice. I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm just Heat Wave again. Just Heat Wave again here. Goes into his Empoleon now, so he will probably get a chance to defog. I'll go to Hoopa here and uh, just go right for the Trick Room. I'm faster than his entire team, so that's good. Other than Empoleon, of course, but uh, Empoleon can't really do much back, as you can see. Focus Blast here should be doing a lot of damage. I don't think it knocks it out. I could even, um, yeah, it does knock it out. Okay, that's good. That's good. I was just going to say, I could just Shadow Ball uh, twice if it didn't knock it out. But Focus Blast here knocked it out completely. Entei can't even E-Speed me at all because I am Ghost-type. That's the one thing that's pretty nice about uh, Hoopa over Hoopa Unbound. Because Hoopa Unbound is, of course, Dark Psychic. Regular is Ghost Psychic, so. Goes into Zapdos here. I'm pretty sure that I can just Shadow Ball. Nice damage. Really good damage there. As he T-Bolt's knocking me out. Okay. He's locked in, right? He's locked in. Trick oh, Trick Room's still up, first of all. So because Trick Room's up, I just go right into Swampert here. And I click, uh... Click that Waterfall. 
Knock out Entei. Very good. Two turns left of Trick Room. He'll probably sack two more Pokemon for me. Definitely appreciate that. A lot of me one turn left of Trick Room is what I meant to say. But that's good because I can just uh, Ice Punch here. Knock this thing out. And the uh, last two Pokemon. He goes into Sceptile here. I can go into my Whimsicott. As he Giga Drains here and I can click... Um, is he faster than me if I'm times two? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I can click um, Moonblast here, I think. Hidden Powers and crits me too. Like I don't know if that mattered or not. But Zapdos, Choice Scarf, um, Hidden Power Ice should knock this thing out. I'm pretty sure HP Ice knocks this out. And it knocks out his Mence too. And I'm faster, of course. Modest, Choice Scarf. Probably should like Encore and Memento, that might have been better. Not uh, risking a crit. Goes into Salamence here. As like an HP Ice, knock this out. Last is the Sceptile here, which uh, <laughs> it's going to go down. Yeah, that's going to be game. He might think I'm, uh, he might think I'm Specs, maybe. Let me let him know, I'm Specs. I'm Specs. GG. Who the hell uses HP Ice? Let me show you right now. I do. I use HP Ice. <laughs> Good game. Let's go to the next game right now. I'll uh, possibly get one, so I'll be right back. Alright, and we got one here versus a uh, pretty nice team. Pretty balanced. or maybe Actually, it's more bulky offense. Bulky offense. Leading off a fortress. Setting up these rocks. Setting up spikes. Throwing out these bands. Let's just uh, get these hazards up right now. Uh, Thunderbolts me. Not bad. Completely forgot he was uh, just break through that sturdy really easily. Um, but we can go here into our Swampert, perhaps. Swampert looks like it puts in a lot of work versus his team. Alternatively, I could go to Nidoking here because Nidoking also puts in work. So let's just go Nidoking. I like it. We can just go right for the Earth Power. He's looking offensive anyways. So I think Earth Power overall is just fine here. His only switch is literally a Swampert, so... Um, and I'm pretty sure Earth Power after Rocks should be a 2 KO. If not, then it's like a... Really close to a 2 KO. Because uh, Nidoking... King's a very strong Pokemon. Goes Zapdos here? Okay. Um, fine. I'll Ice Beam you. Do a good chunk of damage there. As he Defogs, gets rid of these Rocks... That is fine, I think. I'm just going to go for the Sludge Wave here. The Sludge Wave. Probably just kill Zapdos right away. Yep, and we do. Nice. So that's good. Getting rid of Zapdos means one Pokemon um, gone. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but... Uh, yeah. Alright, so... I think... Um, I think Crowdon's coming out here. Either Crowdon or Swampert. Or even, uh... Even Young Darm. I mean, at this point... This point's looking like I can just... Sack something. I think. I have to. I have to sack something. I'll sack this Nidoking. Watch him just, like, U-turn here, expecting my... Oh, he just Earthquakes? Okay, okay, it's fine. Going into my Swampert here, just gonna go ahead and Mega Click Earthquake, I think is fine. I don't have to Rain Dance right away. He just brings in Swampert here, so this should take a good chunk of damage. As we see, we see the Earthquake doing a good uh, good amount of damage there. I don't know if I want to risk Swampert being burned, but I know this thing has rocks, so I'm just gonna try to go for the flinch. Probably my, be uh, my best play here. I mean, it's a nice 30%, 20% uh, chance. Yeah, I'll get it. It's fine. Ready, set. No justice. <laughs> I'm kidding, though. i um, just going to uh, Earthquake this thing and knock it out. And I could, I could potentially Rain Dance when he brings in Darmanitan again. Try to win. I think the only real threat we got to get rid of right now is the Crawdont. Is the Crawdon. 
Hoopa can put in some work in the end. Hoopa can definitely put in some work. Goes into crowd on here. I'm just gonna go right into my Whimsicott. Go right to the Whimsicott. Go right to the Whimsicott. And, uh, yeah, he goes. <laughs> crab Hammer is powerful. That's a powerful Crab Hammer right there. Good, sir. Goes into Darmanitan here. Special attack dropped. Doesn't matter too much. Because what I want to do is what I want to do. And I'm just going to a Memento here, I think. Go into my Swampert. Click the uh, the Rain Dance. And let's start dancing. Let's start a winning. I mean, we got some good battles in this live. We definitely got some solid games. Into Ampharos he goes. I'm just gonna Earthquake. Honestly, gone. And Crowdon comes out here. I don't know. I mean, I think it could potentially live. Crowdon could potentially live. But, I mean, Scarf Zapdos should have this game, I think. Should have the game. I'll just Earthquake here. I mean, he'll probably get scared on Aqua Jet. Or he's probably just calcing right now how much uh, Earthquake's going to do. I mean, Crowdon has decent defense. It's got a pretty decent defense stat. So, it, I wouldn't be surprised if it lived the Earthquake. Even though I'm adamant. But he got, but he just Aqua Jet here, so uh, let's see if this kills. It does, okay. It might not have killed if he decided to um, just Crab Hammer right away. Maybe it did, maybe it did. I'll just go to Waterfall here. And uh, just completely Oko that. And there's another turn of rain left for which I can just knock this thing out. That's going to be a good game. Let's just say GG. And uh, go for the Waterfall here. And that is going to be... Uh, the rest of this or the end of this live so hope you guys enjoy definitely had a lot of fun um, using this team Hoopa put in some good work in the games that it did and uh, I mean I think the teammates were pretty uh, pretty supportive of each other you know helping each other out nice rock scarf uh, scarf Zapdos there for the uh, the revenge killing slash late game <laughs> cleaning especially that one uh, <laughs> that one uh, Sceptile Salamence uh, that end game with uh, Zapdos there. He was like, who runs HP Ice on Zapdos? Like, <laughs> who doesn't run HP Ice on offensive Zapdos? That's my question. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, definitely had a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think. Always uh, looking forward to hearing from you guys, uh, of course, since I do reply to everybody. And uh, that is going to be it. So I will see you guys on the next Oh, Next one, next next video should be, uh, should be team building. Team building with Envy. I got a really cool team that I want to show you guys that I think you all will appreciate. So I'll see you guys on that. Till the next one, peace.